Hey, welcome to Crafty Music Tips. My name's Crafty and I'm here to tell you about how you can change your chords faster on guitar. Let's face it, it doesn't matter what you know level you're at, doesn't matter how long you've been playing. If you're going to be trying out a new chord, then it's going to be new and not comfortable. And so then, as a result, sadly, it won't be fast enough necessarily to be able to play along with whatever song it is in time. Aha, too slow! So... For instance, it could be just getting your very first chord down. It could be getting something really complicated. Either way, I'm going to show you the steps to be able to follow. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first step is basically, let's just make it as easy as possible. Let's understand the process. Whatever fretting hand is yours, it's my left hand, but if you're a left-handed guitarist, obviously it's your right. So whatever your fretting hand is, that's really the issue. It's not really strumming. So let's just get rid of the strumming or the finger picking at the moment. And let's just focus on getting the fretting hand position in position. So I'll try this with a C major chord. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try putting all my fingers on and then taking them off. Obviously, I'm used to this chord, so I can go on and off, on and off pretty fast. But if it's a new chord, something that I'm not familiar with, this movement in Bohemian Rhapsody where it goes. Remember that took me ages to get the hang of. And so if I think about it, I probably, if I was going to isolate it and just get that, that's going to take me a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice just trying to put my fingers on and off, on and off. And as I'm doing it, my fingers are starting to get the hang of it a lot more. So what I would do is I would set a timer or just put on your favorite movie or TV show and just sit there and do this. Cause the more that you do it, see my fingers are starting to just go there now, which is great. Now, if you're at the stage where you're finding that this is still way too hard for you, well then let's make it easier. Let's just do one finger at a time. So. I've got another video that I strongly suggest you watch if you're not sure of what is a good finger order to put down. It's just a fretting hand hack which basically describes how important it is to put your fingers down in the order of which your strumming hand is strumming basically. But I'll watch that video because it goes much more in depth and makes it make more sense. But yeah, so for this chord that I'm doing, notice how I'm putting these fingers down, and then I'm chucking down this note here. So I would need to practice putting this finger down first so that then that is the one that's being strummed first. And so for whatever chord that it is that you're practicing, let's say it's a C, well then I would say that it's your third finger, which is on the third fret of the A string. That's the finger that you're going to need to just practice putting on and off first. So let's just do that. So we go on and off, on and off, on, off. And then when that becomes really comfortable, then add the next finger. So the next finger with a C is your second finger, the middle finger, which is on the second fret of the D string. So I'd put them down one after the other. Dun, 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 off, dun, dun, off, dun, dun. And when that's comfortable, then add the last finger to the C. The first finger on the first fret of the B string. That's the finger that you want to put down last because it's the last one being strummed. If, of course, you're strumming down in that order. And so I glossed over it quickly before, but I'm just going to mention again, this is a really good method. Pick your favourite movie or your favourite TV show and just sit there silently just practicing, just putting your fingers down and holding it and then just sitting there watching a movie. That's really the most important part, the holding. You know, after a while, it really starts to feel comfortable and you've done nothing except just watch some TV. Ah, uh, this show ain't no good. Okay, so after you're feeling comfortable, only then would you then pick up your guitar pick or choose to do some finger picking, strumming, whatever, with your preparation that you've been practicing with your fretting hand. 
And at that stage, what I would do is I'd press play on a song where the chord in question is needed, and I would just do one strum with it. You know, so for instance, instead of going... by yourself, I would just be putting the song on and go just so that your left hand fingers are still the focus. As soon as you start really getting clever with your strumming or your finger picking, well then that's extra brain power that you're going to be needing and using and then potentially your fretting hand fingers will be like, ah, no, I need some of that brain power, I'm not ready yet. I just can't do it, Captain. I do it, have the power. So be cautious with adding in extra strumming. But when you are ready, we'll then put on the song and add extra strums or extra finger picking. And just in case you weren't aware, there's this really cool feature with YouTube where you can adjust the playback speed. So for instance, if you're feeling like, oh, I'm nearly there, but I'm only at 90%, I'm not quite at 100% speed yet. Well then you can still practice the song, but not as strenuously fast. Slow and steady wins the race. All right, so let me ask you a question. Were these tips helpful for you? Let me know in the comments below. And also, if you feel like, oh, I'd like some more of these types of tips, well, I have a bunch of extra similar style videos like this on this YouTube channel. But where it really comes into fruition is in the Crafty Guitar Club. So basically all that is, is a chance to be able to access me in real time, but also hang out with a bunch of other people just like yourself learning guitar and so it's actually really fun it's a really cool hangout and it's just uh, i just get a lot of really good results from people so if that sounds like something that would help you go check out craftyguitarclub.com so that's it from me good luck with your chord changes and i'll see you in another video really soon